Good morning. I'm down in studio again today working on my new composition. I haven't found a name for this composition yet, but as you may have discovered from some of the prior episodes, this is a new orchestral work, and I wanted to show some new features of what I've been working on. I've been chipping away steadily, and for a 10 or 12 minute piece of music, one of the things that a composer has to deal with, just like a playwright or a movie maker, is what's the structure? If you're going to manage time over that window, you need some sort of plan, and composers have taken different approaches throughout the centuries to how to structure. But if you think about what the structure is, it's a way to balance the kinds of sounds that happen against contrasting sounds to keep things interesting. And music will do that all the time. If you listen to popular songs, there's a song structure that's very well known, and it's typically a verse or two verses, a chorus, a verse, a chorus, a verse, a chorus, and then that chorus comes back, the hook, or the part you remember. That's a very well-tread structure. It gets used a lot because it works, and it works particularly for poetic delivery, uh, lyrics. Well, in orchestral instrumental music, there are other traditions, and I've touched on some of them. Today I want to show you what I'm doing structurally here. So we've talked a bit about how the micro brush strokes of a piece can involve lots of little decisions about realigning different parts of, of the detail. Here we're going to take a big look at the sweep of the piece. And I'm sharing my whole screen today. Uh, and one of the things I wanted to start with is how do you build a structure uh, of a piece and so I'm just going to give you a look and if you see up here in Excel I've got a set of sections and a section is a little piece of music so what I've done here and my plan with this piece is to take five sections and to mix and match them basically lots of combinations of each section following the other and if uh, you assigned a letter to each type of music and then you permuted them, you'd get a list that looks a lot like this. And so one of the things about repeating music, when you have a song with lyrics, you can repeat the exact same music every time a new verse comes, but the words are different. So you now have variations. Something's different even though it's repeated. And this is one of the things that helps drive all music. It's enough is the same so that it's familiar, but enough is different so that it's not repetitive. And that's a composer's challenge, is how to keep it fresh and interesting and still let there be something familiar. If nothing is familiar, it'll feel chaotic. If everything is perfectly familiar, it will be boring. And so the artist has to manage how time unfolds so that that balance is met. What I'm going to show you really quickly is how variation sounds in this piece. And we're just going to look at this uh, A section, and I'm going to show you how it appears in two different places. So you can see the A section is the start, and I've shared that. We're going to just take a quick listen here from the very start of the piece. That's just a little taste of the start of the piece. Now we're going to move on and we're going to hear the A section. It's going to come back and measure 188. It's about three minutes in. And uh, as we come to measure 188, let's hear how that is now a little bit different. And, uh, and at once also the same. So I'm just using Finale, which is my scoring software. And I'm going to go, we'll start one measure before see if you can hear how it's similar. So 
there you'll hear it's a little different and if you played them back to back you'd hear the pitch the main pitch goes from E to F sharp the way the orchestration works is a little bit different and I've introduced a little extra material in a couple of the measures so just a quick touch on how to listen for structure so when you're listening to instrumental orchestral works listen to see if you can hear those structures and tell and see if your ear can hear how they're different and how they're the same when the same music comes back thanks for joining me in the studio and I'm gonna get back to work